You're not a guest, you're just a friend I haven't met yet. They're happy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, guys? Here's Don. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I said I wanted to do like a kind of a chat, especially specifically about being a couch surfing host. Because mm -hmm. most of my viewers will be likely to be guests in the future, I hope. Yes, but hosting is also a good way to uh, see the world and through right. other people's eyes. And right. you have, um, somebody has to host in order for other people to surf. So. <laughs> to surf. Uh, like my. My situation is that I'm a wage slave still. I end up working um, a lot. I uh, only have uh, you know, four weeks of vacation a year, so uh, um, I don't necessarily get to uh, like couch surf. Uh, and uh, a lot of times, I think that vacation time I have, uh, I'm actually spending in hotel rooms or whatever because you know, I only have that amount of time. If you actually have the time, yeah. couch surfing is great. Yeah, a lot of people have got the time, but not the money. So right. it's kind of like the vacation comes to you, yes. in a way. You in get a way. to feel a get, bit of a kind right. of a and, fun... And the other thing that's great is that you get to go out and do things that you normally maybe don't want to do because of, uh, you know, like the snorkeling or something. Yeah. Right? Uh, going out uh, snorkeling on your own, you're always saying, yeah, next week, next week. But when a couch surfer shows up, then it's this week. Right? Yeah. And... Uh, gets you to go out and share the, the the area. You get to see that area through the, the other person's eyes too. Mm -hmm. So, because um, it's a thing, a kind of a rule of couch I think to not accept money, right? People are so money minded. Like you pay for the hotel, you pay for the Airbnb. Yes, yes. they've wiped that question out, so you don't feel right. as a guest. Uh, I would feel guilty. Or as a host, yeah. you don't feel like you need to collect debts. Well, you know? yeah, <laughs> like, so the thing is, is that you're really not, you're not a, um, you're not a guest, you're just a friend that I haven't met yet. Right, <laughs> so, I like it. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, so, well said. Yeah, because right. I feel like now we're friends. You helped me with so many things. I could try and remember, I don't think I could remember all the things. Simple things, like I had a little nail file thing for my feet. It was too long, it wouldn't fit in my pouch. You found a way to mm -hmm. cut that down. Mm -hmm. Um, tools at work. No. Storing spare stuff. I've got spare shoes and belt and all kinds of stuff that I don't no. necessarily share with you guys because it would just blow your mind. What, huh? He's got another bag? <laughs> <laughs> no. But uh, because you're at the beginning of your journey, you didn't really know how, how, how you had to pack and, and whatever. So now no. this is going to help you out. Yeah, it's, it's so useful to have someone, a local person with obviously an address, but also local knowledge. Like, you know you know, certain restaurants or certain places to go, or you, you've been like a very helpful tour guide, which you wouldn't get at the hotel. You just sit in a room on your own, yes. you know, you're, you're yeah. locked off from the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a bit of a motivator. So <laughs> yeah. Get out, uh, get out before yeah. it starts raining. Yeah, yeah, he's seen me on the bed editing, and I'm just on my phone, and I'm like sleeping in the bed, waking up in the bed, editing in the bed, and he'll come in and open the door and be like, are you gonna go out? <laughs> yeah. It's I know you You told me that you have a lot of stuff to catch up on. I hope you got it all It's caught, caught up now. Good. People get confused. They're like, wait, how far behind are you? Because they don't want to think they're watching stuff from weeks ago. But now we're in live time, and I feel ready to head out. And ironically, I'm going to run along that Singer Island. Yes. So uh, up over the Blue Heron Bridge. And that'll yeah. be a, a great view this morning. Uh, there's not a cloud in the sky, so you should have some uh, great videography going on with that. And, uh, and I'll point back and be like... Right. I can see Next Don's stop, house. Jupiter. Yeah. yeah, Jupiter. Is it? It's a kind of a beach. Uh, it's uh, the Jupiter in Latin. There's, a, there's a, uh, beaches and lighthouses, and there's going to be all sorts of things as you're heading north. The Juno Beach, uh, is, uh, Juno being the moon of Jupiter. It's mm -hmm. a small town just, uh, south of Jupiter Beach, and so uh, that's going to be a, a fun uh, bit of your trip too. And I've got to remember. I even wrote a note to myself. With couch surfing, of course, unlike a hotel, you can't just show up, pay, move straight in. You've got to give them some advance notice, yeah. a few days even. Mm -hmm. So I and should begin writing ahead for Jupiter and beyond. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one of the things you're going to run into. Is that, uh, like with us, we have a little trouble with me not getting my email right away because uh, right. I just didn't read it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but we finally you know, got together and uh, had it all set up. So yeah. it well. I like what you said about... Uh, if someone says, oh, I'm just visiting for a seminar, I've got a work thing, can yeah. I stay for one night and then right. go? Well, we're not a hotel. You're, right, so you say no, coming, you turn those people down. That's, no, every 
uh, host is different, but uh, with, uh, with me, uh, I would rather have a minimum of two nights. Uh, I would rather have a person coming here to experience the area than to crash. Because I felt guilty to ask for two or three. I was always kind of trying to make it sound like less, like I'm going to be less of a burden. But that's mm -hmm. just my mindset. So right. it's really yeah. been helpful to get to know your... Yeah. And it's not unusual for couch surfers to stay weeks. Really? Know, a full week. Well, you did it. Like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, five days. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's, uh, it's kind of expected. You're going there to visit. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. And then you get to reciprocate. Uh, my wife is a avid couch surfer. She is right now in Scotland. Mm -hmm. And uh, is spending some time with her. You said she's probably stayed at what? Pushing 50 different places? I, I that would assume something like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, New Zealand, uh, Australia. Uh, she's been in uh, Romania. Uh, she was in Istanbul, Italy, uh, several several cities in Italy. Mm. Um, then she was in Hamburg, uh, in France, and Paris. Uh, and that's all the summer. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, she, did, she was the smart one. She retired. I'm, I'm still uh, engineering away. So. Well, you know, when you come to England, if I'm there, you're very welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll have a room. Very good. Okay, that's it. Right. Don's going to go to work. Boom, we're right. out. It's been awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure. Right. Push Bye. the button. Bye. Bye. All righty then. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Service Sister Cam. Boom! This is Sir Cam. Don's at work. Left me alone in the house again. Don't burn the house down. Uh, let's get some nanas in the ripening station. I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, it's working beautifully. So, I'm gonna do some of my usual. Where'd you get your protein? But we're gonna blend this up first. Where's the lid? This one. Those are chunks of beetroot and chunks of broccoli stalk. The stalky, stalky bits. I'm gonna blend it up so it's not chunky, then add the bananas last. Yeah, sometimes I'll put oats to like thicken it to make it more oaty, more creamy, more thick, more like a meal, but I haven't got much oats left and I'm kind of on tending, on tending? I'm on tending on moving on. The thing I've had to learn how to do is to not overbuy stuff. I tend to go for abundance, get tons of stuff, but then it weighs me down. You know, I've been like carrying Cheerios, too many Cheerios. <laughs> Carrying potato, carrying almond milk, almond milk, almond butter. Speaking of which, let's put some in here and use it up. Almond butter made it almond buttery. Nothing much to report of in the office. I'm just sat on the bed here, still packing stuff, figuring out what to leave behind. And bananas, I've got to eat all these bananas. That's the point. I love all this nutrition stuff. Like, I want to carry it with me. Even if it is a little bit heavy. A little bit, just a little teeny little bit. It's probably nothing more important to carry than 
the nutrition that's benefiting my adventures. Oh, right then. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's my services. This is Zebcam working in the office. Uh, I'm working on my future soup plantation. Now, how do I explain this? Here's a receipt from a luncheon I went to um, a few days ago. See, it says adult dinner, eleven ninety nine. I didn't realize that paying for the fountain beverage would be almost three bucks. So really, it should be a $12 all-you-can-eat buffet. It's at a place called Sweet Tomatoes. There's a thing where if you go on their website and fill out the survey, you can get money off next time. 15%. It's not much. 15%, but it's pretty standard discount amount. So what's 15% of 12? Two bucks, roughly. All you can eat, unlimited buffet. A massive range of stuff. I'll do a video next time. I was just uh, so hungry. I was just like, well, I'm just going to eat this. Chat with my new couch surfing friend, and we didn't film it. Maybe we should have filmed it. I just sometimes take a little bit of a break from filming and just be present in the moment, in the conversation, and not pointing a camera in people's face. This will come up in the future. We will be using soup plantation sweet tomatoes as a home, as a kitchen, as a restaurant. That day when we ate there, that was all I ate that day. Like I just ate there. So it's like a one meal a day kind of deal for 10 bucks a day. I wonder if I can keep filling out these surveys. <laughs> I guess so. So let's continue, shall we? Let's continue. Let's push the button. Uh, oh, yeah. What did I write in here? Maybe you guys have paused it and read it. Basically, I was complaining. This is my first ever time. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm giving them the, the feedback they asked for. I'm saying with no 4G reception, I wasn't able to work. So work on YouTube and all that. So in future, I will need plug sockets for power and Wi-Fi. So hopefully with my comments, they will hear this and be like, yo, we hear you're running to Hollywood. Plug some Wi-Fi all the way there and food. Hey, you're welcome to sponsor me. I don't even have to pay the 10 bucks. Yeah, this is my first ever visit. Is it your first visit? Yes, I said that already three times. Did you receive a greeting? Yeah, from the cashier. I didn't see anyone else really. Did an employee say anything? that exceeded your expectations? Um, no, because I asked them, have you got Wi-Fi? And they said, no. It was selected and suggested as a healthy place. Pretty fly for a white guy. May we post your feedback for others to read? Sure. One man, one camera, one name. Are you a Club Veg Rewards member? No, but I would like to be. I'd like to be sponsored by you, really. Would you like to receive gifts and offers? And Yeah, sure. Oh, does that mean you're going to email me annoying things? Let's see. It might not be annoying. Oh, oh. Left turn the camera off now. Don't want all you weirdos emailing me. What's up? Don's home from work. With a star fruit. I've, I've never even seen one. So, and I, the first thing I said is, did you buy it from a shop or did you, oh, I need a knife? I was just going to bite it. Hmm? Well, let's Slice it. let's cut it to see what it looks like inside. Well, you don't get a nice star shape. Right, I'll just cut it straight in half. So my first question was, was it, did you buy it or did you get it from a tree? Oh, I see, now the star. And he's like, no, it's from a tree. Okay. Starfruit tasting moment. Do you want some of it? Yes. Uh, cut, cut a slice. Nice little starving. Yeah. Uh, they're happy. Cool. Okay. So it hasn't got seeds in it, really. Or little tiny ones. Tiny. Beautiful, whatever thing. 
they have a nice uh, citrusy note, uh, not as quite as strong as a lemon or a, a lime, but uh, you can definitely call it a citrus fruit. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I would compare it to. Kind of an orange, but less yes. orange flavored. Yes, a mild orange. Yeah, a mild orange. But it has a, a, a very nice character all its own. It's a very subtle taste, though, so it doesn't go, it doesn't lend itself well to flavoring things. So you don't get too many star fruit flavored ice creams. Or right. Because it, but it's very nice and, and very good for you. Oh. Right, a starfish. Starfish? Star fruit. Hmm. I don't think I've tried a starfish myself. <laughs> Probably poisonous, right? Oh. Don't eat a starfish. I saw one when we were snorkeling. I've made the snorkel video too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. I wonder what the benefits. I always Google the benefits. What's the benefits of stuff? Well, you can find almost any citrus fruit type of benefit. Yeah. Find vitamins and minerals. Yeah. That's perfectly right. That's the per perfect ripeness for a star fruit. Huh. <laughs> Got it. I'm trying to live, <laughs> that was weird, living my life through the camera. My hand, I'm like, ah, I can't pick it up. <laughs> is it like an apple tree? That's what I'm imagining. Mm. Like, is, there, is it a small tree? Is it a massive tree? Is it like, it's more like it? a mango tree. It does look tropical. It's a tropical fruit. Mm. And uh, large, uh, broad leaves, uh, tall and skinny, maybe about uh, right. three or four meters high. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. The fruit, uh, the fruits ripe only for a week. For a week. Yeah. Wow. So you grab them and, you, and that's how come we're, we're having them when they, when the tree fruits. So you better get it off of there. I don't think we just have them in England. I think they wouldn't ship there. Maybe I'm wrong, but a lot of times they're shipped. Another one. Garnish. I'm gonna eat it otherwise. That's no, go ahead. I bet they chop them really thin, yeah. just to get the shape. You get like a hundred out of just one. I don't believe they're expensive. It's just they're very seasonal. That's why I wondered. Like strawberries can be, you know, expensive a lot of the year, but not when they're in, in season. But one week, it's great. I think if there was more of a market, if they were more popular, you would be able to get them. I don't think there's any difficulty in growing them or anything. It's just one of those, one of those things where it hasn't caught on like a strawberry has. I like it. I had a starfish. Should I keep calling it a starfish? Yeah. I had a star fruit. Boom. Tonight, take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah!